Okay everybody, today we are talking about the sexiest perfumes out there. So I'm a total perfumeaholic and my collection is growing day by day it seems because apparently I have a problem. Now, what makes a perfume sexy to me? Scent is subjective. Everybody has their own idea as to what is sexy to them. And to me, sexy means moody, a little dark, something that triggers something in you that makes you feel sexy in your pants. <laughs> God, I'm gross. Anyways, sexy to me is something that turns heads, that makes somebody come up to you, tap you on the shoulder and say, what is that scent? When I wear particular scents, there are a few perfumes that I own that elicit this response in, in people. I picked about five or six that I feel are really sexy scents, and when I spoke to other people, they agreed. Before I get started, I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel. Your support means the world, and if you like this video, give it the big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Anyways, perfume number one. Gucci Rush. Okay, it is a favorite of mine. This is my second bottle of it, and it ticks off every sexy box for me that there is, okay? This scent is polarizing. I wear it and I've been told, whew, you stink, to ugh, what is that scent? And when people come up to me and ask me about it, it fills my heart. And more often than not, it is women coming up to me and asking, what is that scent? It's very, very distinct. And there has been a handful of men who come up to me and they're like, you smell wonderful. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, thanks, it's Gucci Rush. I used to work at a department store called Holt Renfrew way back in the day. And this perfume, I believe, debuted in 1999. I worked at Holt Renfrew shortly thereafter. And when we got this perfume, one of the sales associates spritzed it on and then came up to my department and the whole place smelled wonderful. We all went after her, we're like, what is that perfume? And it turned out to be Gucci Rush. Gucci Rush has notes of freesia, gardenia, vanilla, patchouli. It is very recognizable, it's very attractive, it's sensual and warm and dark and sexy and moody, like this elicits all the feels in me. Some people love it, a lot of people hate it, but I just feel it's, you know, it reminds me of something maybe per people would wear in the 80s. I don't want to turn you guys off if you haven't smelled this. I encourage you to seek out this perfume and give it a try if you haven't. It is sex in a bottle. I absolutely love it. I find it kind of hard to find now because it's a pretty old perfume, I guess by today's standards. I love it. Gucci, Gucci's all about sex, so it doesn't surprise me that my pick for one of the sexiest perfumes out there is Gucci Rush. Next sexy perfume is my Burberry Black. I had never smelled anything quite like this. I really love Burberry's fragrances. Oh man, this is so good. It is, ugh. My friend Lorella, she's chic, she's so stylish. She rolled up to an event wearing this and I pretty much attacked her. I was like, what is that perfume you're wearing? And Lorella is the most generous person ever. The next time I saw her, she gave me a full bottle of this stuff. I'm like, thank God for amazing friends. So my Burberry Black's top note is Jasmine. It also has strong notes of candied rose, peach, and patchouli. That's something that you will see throughout this video and my top picks for sexiest perfumes is patchouli. Most of the perfumes that I like and I find sexy have patchouli in it. I know that patchouli is a pretty 
polarizing scent, but don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. Give it a try. It's rich and dark and moody and lovely. A lot of people associate patchouli with like hippies, dirty hippies or something, but A, hippies are awesome, and B, patchouli is a lovely complex fragrance that everybody should learn to love. This scent also contains amber, which is a warm, lovely fragrance on its own. That's exactly what this perfume is. It reminds me of chilly fall evenings where you just want to snuggle up by the fire with somebody really hot and get a little nasty. <laughs> this is something that, again, I wear when I'm going out, getting all dolled up. When I had my big birthday party this past December, this is what I wore also. I treasure this perfume. It is beautiful. So my next pick is Charlotte Tilbury's Scent of a Dream perfume. I love everything about this perfume. Another polarizing perfume, it has really strong notes of lemon, saffron, peach, bergamot, and patchouli, among others. I think it's pretty hilarious. When I reviewed this perfume on my blog, I got so many messages about how people either loved it or people hated it. Personally. I love it. I think it's sexy and warm and something about this perfume also is that it's carefree. The, the others are like, let's get dolled up, let's go out to dinner, let's go out and have fun and this I feel is something that, I don't know, every time I smell it, I just think of wearing a flowy, beautiful dress and you're in a tropical destination and you're walking along the beach and that's what this reminds me of. And you know, that totally makes sense because Charlotte Tilbury made this perfume from her own blends of oils that she discovered at the hippie market in Ibiza. So this perfume also contains notes of violet, jasmine, and broxen, and incense and it totally smells like all of those ingredients. This is a beautiful perfume. Yeah, every time I wear it, people stop me and ask about it. Something I will say about this perfume is that it smells quite differently after it dries down from when you first spray it on, so take that into consideration when you try it out. It's a very unusual scent too, so Instead of blind buying it, I highly recommend that you find a sample, try it out on your skin, and then decide whether or not to buy it. But I love it, it's beautiful, and it's definitely, definitely one of those scents that you wear and you will get stopped on the street. So the next perfume on my sexy list is Burberry Original. I would never, ever be without a bottle of this perfume. It contains notes of peach, apricot, sandalwood, cedar. It is lovely. It's not sexy like the other perfumes I mentioned where it elicits a strong feeling of sex, but it's classy and elegant, and it reminds me of one of those women who is inherently sexy. She doesn't try too hard. It's lovely. I cannot stress enough that this is the classiest scent out there. It's absolutely beautiful, and what makes this such a great buy is that it's a sexy scent that you can wear during the day or at night. I love it. Again, um, according to my collection of perfumes, I own a lot of Burberry perfumes, and I feel that they just do a really, really great job. I, I love it. You have to go and smell it to know what I'm talking about, but I truly feel this is a really special perfume. It's absolutely lovely. So the last perfume on my sexy list is Chanel's Gabrielle perfume. My dear husband got me this on his last trip abroad. It wasn't even on my radar, but I'm so glad he bought me this. This perfume is based on four great white florals, so Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, 
tuberose and orange blossom. It is sparkling and beautiful, but it has a complexity that I find quite sexy. It's almost spicy. This perfume also has lovely staying power. So do all of the perfumes that I mentioned. I should have mentioned that before. Um, this is really lovely. Every time I've worn this, I get a lot of compliments. This is one of those perfumes I feel that everybody loves. It, it's, it's special. I don't own anything like this. I feel that Chanel did a really, really great job with Gabrielle. It's also one of those scents that when I spray it on, I feel warm and sensual, and every time I turn, I get a whiff of it, and I'm like, mm, I absolutely love it. Again, another one of those scents that men love, so single girls, get yourself a bottle of this stuff. So, I just wanted to add, this gets an honorable mention, and it only gets an honorable mention because I don't have a full-size bottle of it, is Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Whew, that is the sexiest perfume ever. I feel it's another one of those perfumes that people either love or hate. Scentbird actually sent me a travel size bottle of Black Orchid in one of their atomizers, and I love it. I wear this perfume a lot when I'm going out, and it's a fairly popular perfume, actually. Every time I go out to an event or go out for a special occasion, there's at least one other woman in the room wearing it. And Tom Ford is a master at creating unique, sexy scents. I mean, we all know Tom Ford is all about the sex. He did an absolutely great job with Black Orchid. So Black Orchid is one of those scents where, like, I smell it and I'm no master perfumer, obviously, but I had no idea really what it smelled like. I, I knew that there was rose in it and patchouli and kind of a woodsy flair to it. I had to look it up. I, it was such an interesting and unique fragrance that I just wanted to see what it was made of. So one of my favorite fragrance websites is Fragrantica. Fragrantica, sorry. It's an online encyclopedia of fragrances. It has, I swear, if it's a perfume, it is listed on this website. So I looked up Black Orchid and I'm just going to read you here what is in it. So it was announced as an oriental chypre, ch chypre? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Top notes are French jasmine, black truffle, ylang ylang, black currant, and effervescent citrus. The base combines woodsy notes, patchouli and sandalwood, dark chocolate, that is straight up my alley, incense, amber, vetiver, vanilla, and balsam. It is, it's such a cool, interesting fragrance. I, I love it. If you're looking for a sexy perfume, that would be my, like, that would be one of my top picks along with the Gucci Rush. So I hope you liked that video. Let me know, what are your favorite sexy perfumes? I would love to go and find some more sexy perfumes. Please let me know in the comments. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And check me out on Instagram. I'm at dominique.baker. I feature a lot of beauty and fashion on my Instagram account, so please head on over and check it out. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and I will wrap it up there. Have yourselves a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.